All right, so I have had my Epiphone inspired by Gibson ES335 for about a month now. And just wanted to give some quick notes on how it's holding up so far. Uh, from the box, it was set up pretty well. Just a, some minor fret buzz here and there. It's still there. I haven't gotten it taken care of. Just need some minor adjustment, I guess. Um, not a big deal, but I mean, it stays in tune really well. The action's nice. It plays really well. I am enjoying the heck out of it. Um, yeah, so just a couple of things. So like input jacks, if you own an Epiphone of any variety, really, you'll notice that the input jacks are kind of bleh. They get loose really easily and have potential to fall in. So if you got a tool like a jack tight or something, you can fix that pretty easily. Just watch it. Um, but the thing is the toggle switch here. So if I'm playing on the bridge, there aren't really any issues. As soon as I move it into the middle position, you hear tons of scratching. Um, but then once you throw it into the neck, if you do it too quickly, then you tend to lose audio with it. And I would think that it's not just mine. I would think that happens to a lot of them because I've had plenty of Epiphones before and they all kind of struggle with that problem sooner or later. Just sucks that mine kind of did it within a few days. Um, but yeah, not a big deal. It's just that it's not the Gibson um, actual switch. They're the three-way. It's just the standard Epiphone one. And I don't know if it's the switch itself that's low quality or if they just did a poor job soldering it. It is what it is. I'll get it fixed eventually. Um, might do it myself, but if you own a semi hollow, you know how hard it is to fish things through the F hole and then put them back. Um, past that, um, really solid guitar though. I actually really, really enjoy this. I'm glad I pulled the trigger on it. Um, yeah, I mean, I've had a 2015 Gibson ES335 before, and I loved that guitar, but uh, I don't know. I just feel like this is just under right on par with it I guess I mean I've had that Gibson I've had a standard dot I've had the dot deluxe with the flame maple top or whatever and then I even had the Epiphone Lucille and their quality is definitely going up and uh, yeah I'm happy with this this is this is a really nice guitar one thing I will note though that I don't care for again aside from poor electronics choices or workmanship is just if you look at the back, I haven't touched the back, so you can still see it. The binding on these is definitely not a huge uh, point of interest for them, I guess. They don't work very hard on making it visible. In this light, it pops pretty well, and you can see it pretty well around the edges. And I always feel like they do a little bit better job on it on the back anyway. Um, but on the front, it's like almost non-existent. You can like rarely never see it. And I hate that. Part of the guitar's appeal is the binding. Um, so what I did is I just grabbed the Dremel and went ahead and did all the contour here. You can see it gives it a much nicer, brighter pop. You can see from a lot more angles that way. I think that's really the only thing that I never cared for on the Epiphones. That and the uh, one last thing I forgot to mention is the bracket here. I hate the Epiphones typically use that Les Paul bracket, but on this new Inspired by Gibson series, they're actually using like the, the correct Gibson one. So little details like that are just a really nice touch. Or like the uh, the mounting rings, they actually use the black screws in the four corners on them. As opposed to a lot of Epiphones just use silver screws and it just looks clunky. Never really cared for that either. Um, but yeah, stays in tune really well. Action's very nice. It plays nicely. Uh, I'll post more uh, demonstrations and tone samples eventually. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a very nice quality guitar worth every penny. Oh, also... The new headstock is pretty cool. I like that a lot better than that long, ugly Epiphone one. So, yeah. There you have it. It's a buy from me. I'd recommend this to anybody.